Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the resistor color code and I'm going to show you how you can memorize it really fast and in a fun way. So as you know, if you're going to learn the resistor color code, you have to put colors with a number. So we're going to break that down into images. Each number and color is going to have its own image and it's going to be really easy to memorize and you're going to be able to get this within just a couple minutes. So our first color is the color black. And when I think of black, I think of a black hole. And what I try to do is I try to add some action to it too. So I imagine uh, an astronaut that's kind of stuck and his, his tether is going into a black hole and he's starting to be sucked into that black hole. And Black tells us the color, but the shape of the black hole is going to tell us the number of it. So black hole, a big O, and that's going to tell us zero. The next color that we have is brown. And the first thing that comes to mind for me is uh, poop. And yeah, it's, it's gross, but you know, brown, whatever. So what I try to think of and try to give something action is I think of a brown bear in the woods and he's pooping. And the shape of the poop is a number one. It's coming out just like a number one. So just kind of imagine the brown bear in the woods pooping a one. Like that. So the next color that we're going to have to memorize is the color red. And when I think of red, I think of red lips. And with lips, you have two of them. So two red lips, and that gives you the number for red. And then we need a picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like that. So imagine that thing trying to kiss you. Red, two lips. <laughs> Our next color is orange. And what I like to do is I like to imagine juggling oranges. Like that good looking fellow there. Just juggling oranges, juggling. That's the action that we're looking for. Juggling oranges, oranges, and we have three of them. Three oranges while we juggle. So our next color is going to be yellow. And when I think of yellow, I think of minions. So what I do for my action is I imagine a minion playing golf. And he yells out, four, which gives us the number four. So get that in your head. A minion playing golf, yelling out four. And if you want to add something else to it, imagine a minion hitting another minion with a golf club and yelling out four. And the next color that we have is green. And when I think of green, I think of the Hulk. And imagine the Hulk reaching out with his hand and trying to grab you. And there's five fingers on his hand. So that gives us the number five. For green for the Hulk. Our next color is blue and when I think of blue I think of Smurfs and we need the number so what I do is I think of Smurfs kind of stuck in one of those plastic six packs and they're kind of choking and everything as they're trying to walk together figuring this out. And I know it's kind of morbid and everything but that's how it works for me. So six Smurfs stuck in one of those little six packs and if you need to make it a little bit uh, with more action you can imagine one of the Smurfs heads popping off and a bunch of beer is coming out or pop or whatever you want to imagine. So Smurfs, blue, number six. Our next color is violet. Now I kind of double dip on this one. The word violet sounds like violent. So I try to think of something that's kind of bloody and nasty. And I also think of the word violet as the character from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Violet. I, I always remember the line, Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. So I double dip in that. And with violent, I also use an axe because an axe kind of looks like the number seven. So imagine violet, violent, violet is using an axe, which is number seven. So for our next color, it's gray. And I imagine a gray wizard, Gandalf as my great gray wizard and great, great eight kind of goes together so number eight is our number four gray and I also like to imagine him making a figure eight uh, making some magic in a, in a figure eight and uh, that's kind of my action for for my great gray wizard for the number eight and the last one is white and when I think of white I think of a, of a white cat which reminds me of the number nine but in, in my mind's eye, I think of a cat doing karate with some nunchucks and there's resistors instead of nunchucks like that. And he's fighting and it makes me think of a white cat, which is the number nine. So that's it for memorizing it. Guys, 
if you want to memorize it, you really have to kind of think about the image. If you think about the image and you put a bunch of action into it, it's really easy to memorize this within a couple minutes and then you're done as opposed to trying to do it with rote memory. I hope this helps you guys. And until next time, I'll see you all later. My dog. I don't know why I try to tape anything my my dog sleeps behind me and snores and then another one like chews at its butt i don't know if this picks it up but i can hear one dog snoring another dog lapping another i have a lot of dogs i'm sorry never mind i'm gonna say hi jay say hi say meow 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 meow